So have you started plugging in yet in politics? Because tonight, an exclusive Channel 2 Action News poll shows Hillary Clinton currently far ahead of her opponent, Bernie Sanders, in Georgia. 63% of Georgians backing Clinton in this poll, 21% saying they go for Sanders. Sanders just won or came in second in Iowa, leading in New Hampshire. Channel 2's Lori Geary discovered something intriguing when she looked further into these numbers. And Lori live with us with those findings. We see young voters here in Georgia not flocking to Senator Bernie Sanders as we've seen in New Hampshire and Iowa. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton far and away locks up the African-American vote, giving her a huge lead here in Georgia. What we want is what the nation wants, which is continued progress led by President Obama and continued by President Hillary Clinton. House Minority Leader Stacey Abrams, a staunch supporter of Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, says she's not surprised by these Georgia numbers. Although polls show Clinton's opponent, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, has a huge lead in New Hampshire, that's far from the case in Georgia. Here's part of the reason. In an exclusive Channel 2 Action News poll done by landmark Rosetta Stone, of 600 likely Georgia Democratic voters, a whopping 77 percent of the African-American vote goes to Clinton, just 11 percent to Sanders. She's had a long commitment to civil rights that has not simply been given lip service. African Americans will be about 55 percent or more of the Democratic primary voters. Emory political science professor Merle Black says take a look at young Democratic voters in this poll where Sanders is usually strong. Not in Georgia where Clinton crushes him three to one. The Georgia campaign for Sanders releasing a statement saying there's a lot of momentum after Iowa and quote what is not captured by the polls is the amount of volunteer activism throughout the state of Georgia. He would have to have a political earthquake or a series of earthquakes for him to be truly competitive in Georgia. There's also been a shift in the GOP numbers here in Georgia in the presidential race. I'll be working on those numbers and have them for you in the next hour. Reporting live from the state capitol, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News.